Hey guys, it's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and we're in one of our rental units today where we need to replace a handle and actually the whole door on and over the range or over the oven microwave. And all that means is this is a microwave but it also has the vent uh, hood and lights uh, built in the bottom and mounted uh, to the wall here. So this is actually the second time uh, this thing has failed in about three years uh, because the the tenant here it cooked a lot and cooked it seemed with very high heat uh, and no lack of oil so you had uh, a lot of grease grime buildup kind of um, not helping out and then the cooling off and heating up cycles daily would basically just over time the plastic components on the top here and bottom uh, were that handle where the handle would mount, that would just fail over time. So what I'm gonna show you here is how to identify what kind of microwave oven you have and looking for that model number. Uh, how would you go about finding what parts you can actually order? Uh, do you have to buy the whole door? Can you buy a handle? Can you buy other components? Uh, and then how do you disassemble and reassemble? So stick with us. Okay, so first step, when you want to find the actual type of microwave you have, one, you're going to see the make or model, um, or really the make, the Kenmore. Uh, this one's going to be really similar to GE and Frigidaire. I think they're all made by the same, uh, the same company. And then you'll see uh, this kind of number plate down here, and I'll, I'll kind of put a, a zoomed in boop right up here. Um, nameplate so you can see and you're looking for the model number that's good, really going to help you search for parts online once you have your model number you can go and search and i do have kind of a printout that might help out and and what you can find is kind of these parts breakdowns online this is one that i got from easyappliancesparts.com and specifically for what we're working with here it was the door assembly uh, that was within question. So for this door assembly, uh, really I got the full assembly. So that was identified by number 10 on their website. And that was about $175. If you're only looking for the handle, then you can order number 16. On this website, that was pretty expensive at about 80 bucks, which is insane, right? It's a plastic handle. Once you, once you find what you need, you can also go look around at other sites. Uh, there's like Parts Direct or Sears Parts Direct. I did find a handle for as low as $37, which is gonna save you some significant money compared to getting an appliance repairman out, which is easily gonna run you 150, 200, 250 and up. And then that gets into the case of why didn't you just replace the whole microwave. But once you get your parts, or even before that to see really what's wrong with your microwave. And if, it, if your issue is in the, the door here, what you need to do is remove this plastic cover. Super easy, it's just a friction fit. So you need a flathead screwdriver or butter knife or whatever it is. And you're just gonna pry in there and pop out that corner. Once you can get your finger in, that's really all you need the, the flathead for. Then you can kind of go down the edge here and you'll, you'll feel it start popping out. Take your time, don't over force it uh, because you don't want to break these brackets. So you kind of work your way down to the hinge end. Okay, so now all the hinge is left. There's a few in the hinge as well. Okay, so that full cover came off. This is also a part you can replace if it breaks and you need a new one. The other common components here would be, if you can see it, so the actual latches, super common. This is also plastic and it has a spring mechanism in here. This can break quite often. So you'll be able to get access. Um, you can get into the spring here. You can technically, uh, there, there are videos out there where you can maybe drill a hole and remount the spring somewhere else. Uh, so you don't even have to buy a new one. So, so you can look at that if that is your issue. And really what that's gonna be is your door shuts, but it doesn't stay shut and it keeps bouncing off. And then that probably means that that spring is not pulling, uh, making tension uh, on this latch here. 
in our case, you know, we got a full blowout here, right? You can see this door's broken out here. So I got a new, a whole new door. Uh, so for this, uh, what I'm gonna do is remove this door and that's pretty darn easy actually. There's a plastic component up here, which does have one Phillips screw uh, on the top side. You can remove that and that will, that could give you a little bit more clearance to pull up to remove this, but you actually don't even need that. So what I can do is by pulling up, and really what you want is to get this top little latch out, and then that whole door is gonna come off. So it's really that easy. And now I'll grab the, the new door. All right, so now we got the new door assembly. And again, I purchased the full, uh, it was identified in the parts diagram as, as 10. Uh, door. So it has the handle, it has the latch, it has the spring, it has the inner frame, um, it has all the components all together. Now one thing I did remove was that inner cover uh, on the new, uh, the new part that I got because that you have to have that removed uh, for it to seat back into these hinges. So really all I need to do is just reverse that removal process. So I will set the bottom pin into the hinge so the bottom pin is now set, and then I will uh, get it lined up for the top. I will push up to go over the hinge, and then that will go on top, and then I just need that pin to sit down. Now both pins are set down, uh, and the door is functional. Okay, the only other thing that I would need to do for this repair is then just replace that cover, uh, and we are off to the races. Okay, so that's really it guys. Pretty easy to repair, um, especially for mine because I was taking the door all the way uh, off because I needed uh, multiple components and then just reinstalling. If you have a different type of repair needed or you have some questions on a failure that was a little different but on the same type of uh, microwave, go ahead and add those to the comments below. I will also add uh, some details in the description, like the websites that I, uh, that I went on, and then also those links to like the parts diagrams. That's going to be really good for this Kenmore model that I have, but will be super similar to a lot of GE and Frigidaire models that are out there. If you like these uh, type of videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when new ones come out. And if this one helped you at all, we'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Uh, again, this is Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Take care.